The radiator is a main part of the cooling system. It is a type of heat exchanger that cools the hot coolant that flows through it by rejecting the heat to the surrounding air stream using the fan. Heat is exchanged from the liquid coolant to air, called the liquid-to-air heat exchange. Radiator performance is essential for proper engine cooling and function. The lower temperature coolant is then sent back to the engine. The radiator is connected to the engine by flexible rubber hoses, which are held in place by metal clips to form a watertight seal. A removable pressure cap, overflow pipe, and drain tap or plug must also be fitted to the radiator. A radiator has two main components, the core and the headers. A radiator is made of brass and copper to facilitate cooling and to protect it from rust and corrosion. All joints are soldered. Aluminum and plastic are also used in radiator construction to reduce the unit's weight. The main cooling component of the radiator is the core. It is the largest component piece of the radiator. The core consists of several thin tubes connected between the headers and mounted in a parallel arrangement. Thin fins surround the tubes to increase their surface area and thereby improve the rate of heat transfer. The more contact between the tubes and fins leads the greater the heat dissipation. The coolant flows from the inlet to the outlet through the tubes and the fins conduct the heat from the tubes and transfer it to the air flowing through the radiator. Rows are the number of lines of tubes running from one face of the core to the other, front to back. Typically, the higher the number of tube rows within a radiator core, the higher the cooling capacity a radiator has. Adding tubes is one way to increase surface area. Some radiators use a single row of wide tubes, but double, triple, and four-row models are also used. Car radiator fins are thin, metallic components that increase the radiator's surface area, allowing air to pass through. They have excellent thermal conductivity and are generally made from aluminum or copper. Automotive radiators use serpentine fins, roll-formed fins that are louvered to ensure maximum airflow through the core. Louvers are small windows stamped into the foil during the roll-forming process. The louvers are formed in a group on one half of the material, and then a mirror opposite on the other.
As air passes through the radiator core, the louvers deflect the airflow in an S-type or snake pattern. As a result, the term, serpentine, was adopted. Louver pattern angle and width can all have a specific effect on heat transfer. The thickness of the fin can influence the radiating performance, the thicker the better. In most situations, less distance between tubes will allow heat to radiate more efficiently. The smaller the fin pitch is, the more performance will be better as there are more heat can be transferred from the fins. Usually, more number of louvers will have better heat transformation ability, and a good angle of the louver design is also very important to make the heat away from the radiators. The radiator consists of two storage plastic or aluminum headers, often called tanks, attached to the core's sides or top and bottom. The inlet tank holds the hot coolant, and the outlet tank holds the cooled coolant. Many vehicles equipped with an automatic transmission use a transmission fluid cooler installed in one of the radiator tanks. A radiator drain petcock, also known as a radiator drain valve or shutoff valve, is a small component located at the bottom of the radiator. It serves the purpose of allowing the coolant to be drained from the radiator, making it easier to perform maintenance or repairs. Most drain plugs are made of durable materials such as metal or high-quality plastic. This ensures longevity and resistance to corrosion which is crucial for a component constantly exposed to coolant. Radiators are generally rated according to their core dimensions and the number of rows of tubes used. Larger cores and more tubes mean increased capacity.
There are two main styles of radiators used in conventional passenger cars, cross-flow and down-flow. The terms refer to the direction of coolant flow through the radiator. In the down-flow radiator design, the tanks are located at the top and bottom of the core, with coolant tubes running vertically between the two tanks. This design was used mostly in older vehicles. Most radiators use a cross-flow design, where the tanks are mounted on the sides of the core, with coolant tubes running horizontally from one side of the radiator to the opposite side. This design allows the tubes to be longer, giving the coolant more time to exchange heat on each pass through the radiator. Cross-flow systems are also offered in a single, double, or even triple pass orientation. These orientations allow the radiator to cool the fluid multiple times by separating the fluid to be cooled from that which has already been cooled. In a single pass radiator, coolant only crosses the radiator core in tubes one time from the inlet to the outlet. On these radiators, the inlet and the outlet are usually located opposite of each other. A double-pass design is nothing more than a baffle welded inside the end tank that cuts the radiator in half, and the coolant flows through each half in a series, you flow. The design demands both inlet and outlet to be on the same tank. In a triple-pass radiator, coolant crosses the core three times, and the triple-pass design will have the inlet an outlet on opposite sides. A triple pass radiator has two baffles, one in each end tank. Now the core is divided into three small sections and coolant flows through each one in series. This creates very high flow rates and high pressure drops through the system. As the coolant circulates through the tubes, it transfers its heat to the tubes which, in turn, transfers the heat to the fins that are lodged between each row of tubes in a zigzag pattern. The fins then radiate the heat transferred by the tubes to the surrounding air, hence the term radiator. <laughs>